Hi, I am Dr. Garima here. But today I am shooting this video not as a doctor but as a mother. Uh, I am mother of a newborn. Uh, he's two months old currently, and uh, there are few things which uh, even the pediatricians could not tell me. And we were struggling a lot since my baby was having a lot of gas. And when I was googling, I found that a lot of children of the, this age group. Zero to six months have a lot of gas, uh, which makes them cry like crazy. And seeing them cry, we feel like crying because there is nothing we can help until the gas passes away. And these episodes happen quite often, uh, but they are not colic because colic is uh, colic. According to the pediatricians' definitions that I know, uh, that I have come to know of, is uh, the baby has to cry at least three hours in a day and uh, for three days at least in a week and for three weeks consecutively then only they would classify a baby have is having a colic and they would do something about it but uh, this is not a colicky episodes that our babies have like a uh, few minutes in a day they would cry they'll go all blue purple and uh, their stomachs will become so hard when you try to feel them and once the gas passes away their stomach becomes a little relaxed and the baby calms down so uh, these are little tips of mine that I've discovered by talking to other moms and I wish to share in case that helps you out because uh, somebody else's tip helped me out. So yeah, here we go. So uh, first thing is uh, what I've realized is uh, the milk, the formula of milk. If you are breastfeeding, great. Breast milk is any day the best. But if you can't breastfeed due to any of the reasons and uh, you are giving formula milk, uh, then uh, there are two brands uh, or rather two products from the same brand any brand that you would be giving like for example out here in Dubai uh, we have Aptamil, uh, we have Babylac, Similac, uh, Nan, Nan Pro uh, these kind of products so earlier we were giving Aptamil the normal Aptamil the infant formula but because the gas was so much that somebody recommended me to switch to the same brand's comfort formula so let me show you out here uh, we then switch to nan comfort ultimately if you see this is nan and this green thing here mentions comfort so the difference between this is that uh, in the normal formula uh, they have lactose but in the comfort apparently there is no lactose so it's not like a baby's lactose intolerant or something but try switching to this formula and uh, the gas occurrence in my baby reduced at least on a scale from if it was 10 earlier it came down to 3 which was a big relief to everybody and but the weight gaining uh, remained the same so it's not like they're getting some deficient calories or nutrients uh, but yeah, this formula definitely helps. So whichever brand of milk you're giving, check if they have a comfort formulation in that. Now, second thing, I've observed that if you try to give hot milk, as in not hot, rather warm milk, the gassiness is more. So what we do is uh, we boil the milk, uh, boil the water actually. We boil the water and then we place it in this thermos and let it cool, like let it cool to the room temperature. And then we mix the milk and give to the baby. Uh, we have also kept a bottle sterilizer here, which is very, very handy. Uh, you don't have to be dependent on boiling the water and keeping the bottles in it. You can just on the sterilizer and it does the job for you. Uh, it has an automated timer, so you just put the timer on and it goes back and it's like a microwave, but uh, the sterilizer uh, effects. Yes. Uh, what we have also discovered is that you should not feed the baby like every time they ask for feed. You should space out. Uh, in the start it would be 3 hours, every 3 hourly gaps. But it's not like the baby just you give the milk and they take it and it's done in 5 minutes. The babies would take anywhere around from 30 to 45 minutes to be fed because often you have to burp in between. So uh, try to space out the feeds. Let the child finish the entire uh, ml of milk that you have to give him like 60 ml or 70 ml and then in between keep him active or if he's sleeping let him sleep but do not tend to give before three hours then so then the baby is actually very hungry and takes the milk faster and digests faster instead of giving milk again and again which would again increase the chances of having a gas now another thing that was very helpful was this this is called as colicate 
uh, in different countries uh, they have different formulation but basically what this has is dill oil fennel oil with cymethicon drops now i researched a lot being a doctor myself i was like going crazy why why should i give this drops to my baby and why medicines and blah blah stuff uh, but this just does not have any side effect what it basically does is cymethicon uh, the small small bubbles in the stomach it captures and turns into a big bubble and it makes it pass off so uh, i have actually observed my baby passing on gas like noisy farts rather i would say uh, after giving this and how many times are you supposed to give him uh, well this mentions that you can give uh, for infants below 6 months 5 to 10 drops four times a day but i usually give just four drops and that to twice a day at 12 hourly gaps uh, that suits my child and i'm okay with that but even with this uh, there were still episodes of that crazy gas occurrence where the child used to cry and cry like for a minute or two but he would just turn red blue and the stomach used to become so hard so i was wondering what else i can do so luckily i could find this now this has been tremendous help now this is called as probiotics it has lactobacillus root tree basically these are probiotic bacteria which help the intestinal flora to become more stabilized now uh, i don't know if normal babies have this much of colic problem not colic rather gas problems uh, but my child was a bit premature so i'm sure there are a lot many moms out there who might unfortunately have preterm births but it's okay the child is healthy it's just that they take their own time to grow up but uh, we can do what we can do to help them so sometimes the intestine is not so well developed and it takes a bit of time to you know get adjusted so this are probiotics meaning the good bacteria which help in digestion now this has lactobacillus root tree combination and apparently biogaya this brand is the best in the market which i have come to know from my other cousins living in um, canada and us even they have given their uh, babies this one so uh, don't buy this online why because uh, you need to buy this from your local pharmacy as it has to be always kept in the fridge uh, if you keep this outside uh, i have just taken it out from my fridge to show you all i don't keep it outside uh, but if you keep it outside then apparently the bacteria won't be active which is what we want right so uh, how this works is it has this uh, amber colored bottle so i actually cannot make out how much is left but i have kept two three extras when this finishes off uh, you have to shake this bottle very nicely and in the room temperature milk so the you boil water get it down to room temperature put it in the thermos and then when you are preparing the milk you take the water and the scoop of powders and you mix it and you add just five drops of it now when you will add you will actually see because it has an oil formulation i think it doesn't dissolve in the milk you can see the drops going in the milk so you can actually count and see five drops have gone and uh, once a day not like frequently once a day and then you close it and you keep it in your fridge so this after giving this a oh, wow it was a game changer like uh, Yes the gas occurrences are still there but the intensity and the frequency have drastically reduced like earlier if it was say um, in a day five or six times now it is just once or twice and it's of less duration so imagine the relief as a mother you would feel and i've also found that my child now is taking more feed you know uh, so that makes me incredibly happy because that's what we want so i hope this small tips help and also yes what i have also discovered is uh, suppose you are feeding your child 90 ml of milk and you have decided this is the amount you have to give for each feed so after he takes around uh, 40 or 50 ml stop and uh, make him upright or pat on his back or take it over your shoulder or just roam around in the room uh, make sure a burp comes only after that you start feeding the next batch of milk so divide your 90 ml into three doses like 30 30 30 give burps because once uh, if your child takes the milk in one shot there are uh, more chances that during a burp a lot of milk is going to come out i'm sure you must have experienced it 
so if you do this method i'm sure this is going to help you a lot so these were my tips as a new mom and these are helping me out and i wish to help so i'm sharing with you all if you have any more tips please leave it on the comment and if you like this video just you can write what your thoughts are uh, that would help me also make more videos if i think it's something useful out there so i hope this helps thank you